Hi guys, Jeremy with Four Sons Off Road. So today we're going to do a quick little side by side comparison for you. Uh, we've got two Suzuki mini trucks here. We've got one with some uh, pretty common modifications that we do to it, and another one that's stock sitting right next to it. So just wanted to give you a an idea of what uh, a stock truck looks like right next to a uh, you know slightly modified truck. So as I'm sure you know, <clears throat> we've got a, the stock truck here is a uh, 2003 Suzuki Carry DA63T uh, and the uh, one that we've got some modifications done to is a 2001 DB52T. So we did a video on that uh, DB52 just uh, last week so you can go and check it out, the full walk around there. We're not going to be comparing the differences so much between the uh, different truck models here, it's just the differences between like I say stock and modified. So first thing you'll notice right away is just the difference in stature. The uh, modified truck on the right has a 2 inch lift kit, it also has a uh, set of 24 inch 24 by 8 ATV tires. Uh, on there as well. So as you can see that does lift the truck up actually uh, uh, quite a bit. Uh, with the li uh, lift kit and tires together you get about four, four and a half inches of true lift uh, on these trucks. Uh, you can also see the difference that makes in your ground clearance. So one of the things a lot of guys buy an off-road mini trucks they want to take them around the yard. There's not a lot of clearance there especially with those tiny little tires. So you notice right away I mean it's a pretty massive difference and the only trimming we've done is on the outer fenders uh, that is the standard bottom fender lip there. So as you can see, quite a quite a substantial difference. I'm going to get the tape measure out so we can actually measure it. All right. So I understand this is not a perfect apples to apples comparison, but these trucks on paper are nearly identical to each other. So we're just going to start with this DA63, the stock one. So I'm just measuring to the bottom of the uh, front kind of uh, front. Uh, little cover here over the front diff. About seven and a half inches of uh, clearance from the ground to that uh, center point. So not horrible. I mean, it's gonna get you across the yard, that's for sure. All right, so on this lifted uh, DB52T, you can actually go right to the uh, bottom of the front diff there. Again, I apologize for the camera angle here, but that's basically 11 inches to the uh, bottom of the front diff. So from seven and a half all the way up to 11 inches. Now again, the back end hangs down a little lower there, but uh, just to give you a side-by-side -side comparison of what we get for. For difference in uh, ground clearance. Now again, we'll go around to the back. All right, again, so stock DA63T to the back of the uh, bottom of the rear diff six and three quarter inches or so. Again, we're not trying to be super scientific here, but just wanted to show you the difference between stock and lifted. So, of course, the only lift we're getting on this DB52 at this rear diff is coming from the bigger tires. But as you can see there, we've got eight inches of ground clearance from the ground to the bottom of that uh, rear diff and again all that lift is just coming out of these bigger off-road tires so yeah again if you're looking to do any sort of serious off-roading again you can see that stature difference there from the back quite a bit between the uh, lifted truck on the left and the stock truck on the right so again that's just a two inch lift a little bit bigger uh, Tires on there, off-road tires, makes a big difference. Now, of course, the off-road tires run lower pressures. They're wider, so you definitely can handle the softer terrain. They ride a little smoother off-road and definitely help out. The other thing we'll show you is the width. So let's measure that up. Stock, so we're going to the outside edge of the front tire. Now, again, you've got some body trimmings and mirrors and stuff that uh, might hang off a little wider, but this is where the difference in width is going to come in is at the tires. So we uh, check this stock unit out we're going to call that 57 inches wide at the outside of the uh, front tires now let's uh, check it on the modified truck all right so again from the outside of the uh, front tires there we can call that about 62 62 and a half 
uh, inches. Now again, that's with a set of ATV 12 by uh, 7 ATV rims with a spacer adapter, little wider rims of course, so it definitely offsets them. So you can see we hang out past the uh, fenders there a little bit. So yeah, you get a nice little bump in width, a little better stability, better side hill, but still respectably narrow compared to uh, any, you know, comparable to any big utility side-by-side. -side. So no issues there, you know, fitting down trails and through your gates and stuff that you uh, were fitting through with your gators and rangers. So yeah, again, if you've got a stock mini truck, you know, they're a great little 4x4 machine, work really well, you know, around the yard. Good off-road truck, but doing a simple, you know, two-inch lift kit, a little bit of an oversized ATV tire, makes a pretty massive size difference in the ground clearance, the size, stature of the truck. And, uh, you know, again, the benefit of those low-pressure tires, a little better traction, better ride. And at the end of the day, uh, looks a lot better too. So if you've got a stock truck and you're thinking of uh, doing some off-road modifications to it, I'd say go for it. You know, definitely makes a, a big difference in the performance, not just the look of the truck. So if you have any questions, check out our website, foursonsoffroad.com. And, uh, you know, be sure to subscribe, like this video, and uh, check out our uh, other mini truck videos.